When it comes to protecting astronauts and their equipment from the dangers of radiation in deep space, scientists come to Brookhaven's NASA Space Radiation Laboratory for answers. Boston University's Harlan Spence and his team of researchers recently spent time at this unique facility testing the effects of radiation on sensitive machine components, including layers of plastic meant to imitate human tissue. Their experiments centered on a boxy, functionally complex piece of equipment called the Cosmic Ray Telescope for the effects of radiation, or crater for short. This is an instrument that's designed to uh, detect energetic particles. And uh, what it is is it's a, a long cylinder with um, two solid state detectors right next to each other and then two more and two more. So there's six in a line. And so depending on which direction a particle comes in, you can detect coincidences between certain pairs or fours of detectors and tell somewhat what direction that particle, particle was coming. And you can also see somewhat what energy the particle was, or possibly what, part, what kind of particle it was, uh, by looking at the energy that's deposited into the solid state detector. So Brookhaven has uh, the ability to um, deliver an, an energetic beam of protons or other um, high Z particles. And so we can use it to put our instrument in front of the beam and then calibrate the instrument so that when we get around the moon, we know what we're looking at. The findings from Crater will help scientists better understand the potential consequences of exploring the moon and other parts of the solar system. Harlan Spence explains. Brookhaven is great. We've, I, I've run at a number of uh, facilities around the country, and this particular NASA Space Radiation Lab is really great. Uh, the kinds of uh, beam properties that are available here at Brookhaven are perfect for the kind of instrument that we're um, deploying to the moon. And it makes sense. NASA has invested into this facility for uh, space radiation environment type uh, missions, of which ours is one of them. So it's, it's really well geared. And particularly today, where we're not running a fixed energy, but we're scanning through energy. It's really helpful to understand the kind of data that we'll be uh, getting in space. Closer to being completed, we'll do a final calibration, and then the last sort of thing we do is we button everything up, we do a shake test, a thermal test, we deliver that to the spacecraft. The spacecraft uh, then integrates it on with all the other instruments, six other instruments, and um, a year and a half from now, it goes into space around the moon.